We look out at the vastness of space, searching for signs of life, for intelligence beyond our own. But what if the most profound evolutionary leap isn't happening out there, among the stars? What if it's happening right here on Earth, right now to us? What if Homo sapiens isn't the final version? What if evolution is preparing a completely new human species, a species that can survive where ordinary humans cannot? This isn't science fiction, folks. The tools of genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, and biotechnology are rapidly advancing, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We're talking about a species that will redefine what it means to be human. Are we on the verge of a new chapter in human evolution, or are we approaching an event horizon, a point of no return? Get ready to explore the mind-blowing possibilities of Homo Futurus, the human of the future. Imagine a future not that far off where humanity has evolved beyond recognition. No, I'm not talking about growing a third arm or developing telekinetic powers, although, wouldn't that be cool? I'm talking about something far more profound. This new species, Homo Futurus, isn't the product of millennia of natural selection, but of a few centuries of radical technological advancement. So, what makes Homo Futurus so different from us? Picture this. Their brains are wired differently, genetically optimized from birth for enhanced cognitive abilities. They can process information at lightning speed, making split-second decisions that would leave us struggling to keep up. Their understanding of complex concepts would make our most brilliant minds look like kindergartners. But it's not just about brain power. Homo Futurus is uniquely adapted to the challenges of a changing world. As we push the boundaries of space exploration and delve deeper into the oceans, they've evolved to thrive in these extreme environments. Imagine a human who can withstand the harsh radiation of space or the crushing pressure of the deep sea. That's Homo Futurus. Their immune systems? Forget about it. They laugh in the face of viruses and bacteria that would send us to the hospital. They are the epitome of resilience, capable of enduring conditions that would make even the toughest among us crumble. But here's the kicker, the part that really makes you think, what will their relationship be with us, the baseline humans? Will they see us as primitive ancestors holding them back? Or will they recognize our shared humanity and strive for coexistence? These are the questions that keep me up at night, folks. The answers? Well, they're not so simple. You know, when we talk about evolution, we often think of it as this slow, drawn-out process, something that takes millions of years to unfold. But what if I told you that we're on the verge of speeding it up? That we're about to take control of our own evolution and rewrite the genetic code that makes us human? That's the promise and peril of genetic modification. Imagine a world where genetic diseases are a thing of the past, where every child is born with optimal health and a resistance to cancer, Alzheimer's, you name it. That's the potential of this technology. But it goes beyond eradicating diseases. We're talking about enhancing our abilities, pushing the boundaries of human potential. Imagine Homo Futurists, their brains genetically fine-tuned for superior intelligence. Their neural pathways are optimized for lightning-fast processing, allowing them to absorb information like sponges and solve complex problems in the blink of an eye. They could see patterns where we see chaos, make connections we could only dream of. It's like giving a supercomputer to a toddler, but instead of a computer, it's their own brain. Now, some people might say, hold on, Neil, isn't that messing with Mother Nature, playing God? And you know what? They're right to ask that question. It's a slippery slope, no doubt about it. But the fact is, we've been tinkering with genetics for centuries, whether it's through selective breeding or the development of vaccines. Genetic modification is just the next step, a more precise and powerful tool in our arsenal. The real question is, how do we use this tool responsibly? How do we ensure that these enhancements are accessible to everyone, not just the privileged few? These are the ethical dilemmas we face as we delve deeper into the world of genetic engineering. Because with great power comes great responsibility, and we have to be damn sure we're ready for it. Imagine a world where the boundaries between human and machine blur, where our thoughts and emotions are no longer confined to the realm of our skulls. That's the world Homo Futurus inhabits, a world where technology has become so seamlessly integrated into our biology that it's practically indistinguishable from our own bodies. But it's not just about convenience or efficiency. Chapter 3. Forged in the Fires of Change We humans, we're a resilient bunch, 
We've adapted to live in some of the harshest environments on Earth, from the frozen tundra to the scorching desert. But as our planet changes, as we push the boundaries of exploration, we're gonna need more than just resilience, we're gonna need homo futurists. Now I'm not talking about some Hollywood version of evolution, with humans sprouting gills or wings. I'm talking about adaptations at a cellular level, changes so subtle, you might not even notice them at first glance. Imagine a human who can withstand extreme temperatures, whose skin can repair itself from radiation damage, whose lungs can extract oxygen from the thinnest of atmospheres. That's Homo Futurus, a species engineered for survival in a changing world. And it's not just about surviving on a warming planet or colonizing Mars. These adaptations could allow us to explore the depths of our oceans, to work safely in hazardous environments, to push the boundaries of human exploration further than we ever thought possible. But one thing's for sure, Homo Futurus with their enhanced resilience and adaptability would redefine what it means to be human. Chapter 4. The Neural Network Within You know we humans, we love our gadgets, our smartphones, our laptops, our virtual reality headsets. We're constantly finding new ways to connect with the digital world. But what if I told you that the next technological leap won't be a separate device but an extension of our own minds? That's the promise of neural implants, the ultimate fusion of biology and technology. Imagine Homo Futurus, their brains augmented with microscopic implants that enhance their cognitive abilities, allowing them to interface directly with computers and even communicate telepathically with each other. No more clunky keyboards, no more misinterpreting text messages. With a thought, they could access the vast repository of human knowledge, control complex machinery, or even compose a symphony. The possibilities are literally limitless. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't that a bit invasive, a bit big brotherish? And you're right to be cautious. The ethical implications of such technology are profound. But imagine a world without language barriers, where knowledge and ideas could be shared instantaneously across continents. Imagine the scientific breakthroughs, the artistic masterpieces, the solutions to global problems that could emerge from such interconnected minds. Chapter 5. Beyond Human Limits We humans, we're a curious species, driven by an insatiable thirst for exploration and adventure. We've climbed the highest mountains, explored the deepest oceans, and even ventured into the vacuum of space. But what if our physical limitations were no longer a barrier to our ambitions? That's the promise of enhanced physical endurance, the ability to push our bodies beyond their natural limits and explore the universe without constraints. Imagine Homo Futurus, their muscles augmented with microscopic nanobots, their bones reinforced with lightweight, ultra-strong materials. They could run marathons without breaking a sweat, lift objects many times their own weight, and endure extreme environments that would cripple an ordinary human. We're talking about a species that could build colonies on Mars, mine asteroids for precious resources and even terraform planets, making them habitable for human life. But it's not just about space exploration. Enhanced physical endurance could revolutionize life here on Earth as well. Imagine firefighters who could withstand the inferno of a blazing building, rescue workers who could lift rubble with their bare hands, or athletes who could shatter world records with ease. So, we've traveled through the looking glass into the future of our species. We've explored the radical possibilities of Homo Futurus, a species shaped by genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, and a relentless drive to push the boundaries of human potential. But the question remains, is it possible that the new species is already among us? Perhaps those who first integrate AI and genetic enhancements will become the pioneers of Homo Futurus. Will they be a separate species or simply the next step in the long, strange journey of human evolution? Will we embrace these changes, adapt and evolve alongside them? Or will we resist, clinging to the familiar comforts of our current form, even as the future rushes towards us? One thing is certain, the future is unwritten and the choices we make today will determine the fate of Homo sapiens. Are we ready to become a new species? Would you choose to enhance yourself or remain Homo sapiens? The answers, my friends, lie within each and every one of us.